With so many characters being released in Nike, usually two to three units per month, it's really hard to know what characters you should be pulling for, what characters you should wishlist, and what characters you can completely ignore and skip. So today I want to talk and make an updated version of our wishlist guide uh, so we can finally to give new players a little bit of input on what they should be aiming for. Now, this is really depending on your account and your situation. As you can see for me right now, I'm just going for loops on the characters that I like, but I want to get a specific backgrounds. For you, it might be different if you are before the 160 wall, or if you're looking for a specifically useful units. We're going to be focusing on useful units, of course, also on the Thrive Towers teams, so you can push a little bit on that. And then in general, characters you can completely ignore. All that said, hello, the internet. Welcome back to the Waifus. I'm Sefi. Let's get started with our updated wishlist for 2024, starting with everyone's favorite, Elysian. <laughs> Let me remove everything from here. Right, and let's go uh, by burst. We're going to be going burst types, then we'll make it team for Thrive Towers so you can see what is uh, a good to start pushing tower and get some molds that will surely not give you a blue unit. When it comes to B1 single Elysian, it's only one option the killer wife miranda sucks emma sucks emma not even being used in pvp a lot nowadays as far as i know you know my pvp knowledge is not the best and then miranda uh, her usage was mostly first because there wasn't a good b1 for uh, elision and then because she was used on a snow white teams but even on a snow white teams she's starting to get phased out so the recommendation is going to be the killer wife one of the best b1s in the game right now she supports uh, sniper rifles with pierce but she can be used everywhere. It's of course going to be better with those snipers, however. Now, P2 is a little bit more complicated because it really depends. If you are looking for a good healer, consistent, that can fit into a lot of team, Miss Marcy is really good. If you are looking for a taunter that can self-sustain herself, this is not the bad option, even though I would not recommend her nowadays. If you have Biscuit and you need another B2 to pair with her, not talking about the Legion specifically, right? Then Polly is the go, uh, is the way to go. If you're looking for a support for 2B, you really like Nier and have the characters, Must is really, really good for max HP unit based. For example, 2B and Queenie. And when it comes to Signal and NY, you can completely ignore them. Both of them are useless. The safest pick here, since it's 20 seconds, would be most likely Marciana. Even Diesel for Thrive Tower will work, but I like Miss Marcy a lot more because God bless that belly. When it comes to P3s, there is quite a few options. Let's start with the ones you can't ignore. And that's gonna be Breed, that's gonna be Solim, that's gonna be Maiden, and probably the other ones have niche usage. So for example, Maiden uh, would be used in PvP, as uh, Solim, you can completely ignore her. Yes, there is a case a scenario to be made where Solim can technically be one of the highest DPS units in the game. Good luck with that. A lot of people like to cope with that and you can't and it's fine. She can under the right circumstances. The problem is those circumstances are never gonna be met. So I will completely ignore her. Breed is not a bad option for water DPS if you have nothing else, but uh, above Breed, I will prioritize best if you need a water DPS. If you need a water DPS. And when we talk about the rest of the girls, it's really depending on your situation. Quiddy and Helm are the only B3 healers we have in the game, unless I am missing someone, hopefully not, <laughs> but they are the only B3 healers we have in the game. If you have to go with one right now, Helm is a lot better. She provides life shield for the whole team, Quiddy can give a similar amount of heals. The problem is that she focuses on max HP teams and there is not a lot of units that can benefit from her and defenders as well. So it's like defenders and max HP teams, which there is not a lot of units like that. So Quiddy, for the future, maybe try to get one copy right now, not necessarily help. It's an amazing healer, provides life till good overall sniper rifle and sub DPS unit. Other sub DPS units, not only help if you don't like her, could be normal privacy, her stun even nowadays since day one, it's unmatched, it's amazing. You can use this stun absolutely everywhere and will save your ass. We talk about also other sub DPS units. D is the last one in here. Now, why D is like a sub DPS, not a proper DPS? First of all, SMG. You all know SMG sucks in Nike, sadly. Uh, surely one day they fix them, but they suck right now. Uh, so D, if you wanna, if you need to be bursting faster, she's gonna be really good. Other than that, also there is like not really necessary. In my opinion, what I will go for mostly is gonna be guillotine, it's gonna be made privacy, and you could go for bestie if you need more DPS, you could go for helm if you need more heals, it really depends what you need. But guillotine and made privacy are the best DPSs for a lesion that are not limited, right? Not limited are these two girls. So made privacy can be used in general as a good overall DPS, but she will shine the most with Coco Leona, and she will shine the most, of course, also in the lesion drive towers, since there is not a lot of units there. Guillotine amazing unit if you're using miss marcy or a healer in general she will lose dps because she 
everything needs to be low HP in order for that to work. This is still a nice option. If you were going to be going Guillotine and she's built in your case, a Mast and Diesel would work better than Miss Marcy, but then you're lacking heals, which depending on how far you're pushing, you might gonna get completely cooked. <laughs> it depends on what you're doing, right? So if it was me, I would go for these four girls and then Helm or Primati, depending on what you're doing. Now let's move into the second manufacturer, which is going to be Missilis Industry. There's a lot of girls in Missilis, so let's go once again, first type by first type, starting with B1s. Now there is a clear winner in here, Litter, all right? <laughs> Since day one, one of the best units in the game. It hasn't changed at all. Her CDR and boobs are broken. The other unit that you're gonna be aiming for, of course, is Tia because of the schoolgirls duo. We'll talk about it in a second. Tia is really good. Later, you should 100% get her. And then the, the rest of the girls, it's really situational. So Jakal, if you need the unit for PvP, it's gonna be goaded. Tove, if you're looking for that shotgun composition, you can go for her again if you like shotgun compositions there's nothing wrong just know that, that usually they're worse than just going for the normal meta teams that doesn't mean they're bad you can go for Tove, leona my private and two more units and still get good results or push campaign right it's just that usually they perform worse than the normal meta teams still if you like that feel free to go for that pepper is a good healer but she does not work with litter or other units that increase max ammo she needs to be played manually since she reloads um, her magazine by parts not the full clip so you can actually broke her heels more often my picks here however will be of course tia and litter when it comes to b2s pretty simple as well right of course you want to go with naga to pair her with tia even if you're not pairing her with tia naga is one of the best b2s in the games uh, thank you to chrome now of course getting even more usage now other notable units of course are gonna be senti she's losing some usage though burst generation on pvp is still a queen uh, for pve however in even for pushing high deficits she's no longer that use uh, when it comes to union admi i would not pull either the only usage of admi will see it's fast reload teams and even there uh, you're getting better and better units so no need to pull for them and then when it comes to the best belly in the game elec i will only pull for one copy and after you get one copy you can remove her from the wish list but your priority should be naga 100 when it comes to b3s there is just one squad you need to worry about and that it's matrix squad the rest of the uh, missile is dpss sadly are just bad crow probably one of the worst units in the game <laughs> julia no dps at all and then epinel you could make a case a scenario where she's good if you can kill the raptors with her when she kills units she actually ramps up her books but that's just a conditional too big to control right so i will never go for that if you only have to pick two dps girls from here if you are running uh, of course if it's cool girls right so let's say you are running tia litter and uh, you're running naga what two dps should you prioritize in my opinion maxwell 100 and then between drake and laplace i will say laplace is still a little bit better and you can get more supports uh, for rocket launchers nowadays than shotguns but either will work i prefer lapchamp because she's core 7 for me Not else though i do not want to save this though and then lastly let's move into tetra line this is the worst one in terms of what to prioritize because it's really hard so let's go again verse by verse and let's remove my favorite girls please shift up give me one more milk i've been waiting for the milk burst for so long now <laughs> no yeah but it's epic let's focus first of all be ones on tetra which ones are good which ones you can ignore uh i think it would be easier to say which ones you can go for that's gonna be volume that's gonna be noise and that's it <laughs> now before we go into white right like noise and amazing taunter and healer really good 40 seconds at the back thing uh volume cooldown reduction good books overall she's more focused on critical around or base around crit teams rather than normal dps's but it's still an amazing unit uh, why the other girls are not that good prima and jan useless sadly they get no use Please boop Jan, those legs are amazing. Ludmila is a good taunter, but she needs a healer, she will die on her own. And when we talk about Exia, it's completely useless. When we talk about the Underworld Queens, they have niche usages, all of them. So Sakura, CDR, and also for Elemental Content. When we talk about Moran, she's decent in PvP, and it can be a case where she can help you clear more content by surviving longer, but she will kill herself on super high deficit. I don't like Moran for content overall, even though I think she's one of the best girls in this as well. And then when it comes to Rosanna, the only thing she's good for is PvP. You will barely see her in any PvE content. When it comes to Cocoa, Mary, Milk, and Soda, I will say that you can completely ignore Mary and Milk. They are 
sadly kind of useless units and then cocoa and soda can't find niche usages depending on the type of raid we are doing but even then i would not even say go for one copy you could go for one copy of cocoa she's seen some usage um but yes if you have to prioritize volume and noise you need to get them and the good thing about most b1 series is that you can go for one copy and forget about them same for sakura i will say you can grab one copy and if you care about pvp you could potentially grab one rosanna even though she doesn't see a lot of usage at high challengers or at least on my server right uh, that said about b1s let's move into b2s for Tetra, we get into the same problem. A lot of really good units, hard to focus which one you should go for. So let's start with the useless ones. Fog one, you can completely ignore. Nero, you can completely ignore. Bay, just put her on your wish list. I know she's great, I know she looks good, but she gets zero usage. Aria, you can completely ignore, even though that there is a case for Aria, Fog one, and some shielding teams shenanigans, but nowadays we have more options and we're seeing that even less we prepare we barely see this anymore so these four girls you can completely ignore even by per nowadays i will say you can safely ignore so these five either one copy or ignore again up to you nero could get some pvp usage aid and be justified for again some niche rates but even then safely all those girls you can just say you can just either one copy or forget about them. And now let's move into the rest of the girls, starting with Leona and Blanc. So Leona, you only want to get her if you want to get that shotgun team. If you want to work on your shotgun compositions, she's great. If not, you can completely ignore. Also, you can go only for one copy, no need to go for multiple. Blanc should be your focus. Bunny girls, of course, are still one of the best meta teams to go for. But Bunny is a school girl is now prone with Naga or with Rapunzel as well. So that's always a safe bet. And for the Tribe Tower, she will carry your ass. So Blank is the must get for B2s in here. When it comes to uh, Novel, she is used for bosses and bosses only. She's losing even usage in this niche. So for example, for raids, we're seeing her less and less and less. She's a safe pick still. I would consider getting one copy. And uh, what I will say, you don't need one copy. Nowadays, it's Rupi. She was an amazing B2 at launch, a great booth, uh, even can be considered the sub DPS depending on the situation. But nowadays, there is just too many options for B2s, and that's the problem with B2s and Tetra. This is too many options. And the same thing can be considered for Dola. Dola provides with cooldown reduction, critical boobs. She is a really good unit, but she finds no place in most teams because there is not enough slots. She's at 20 seconds, though. I will say get one copy of Dola 100%, but the two B2 you should focus the most are Blank and Biscuit. Biscuit and Blank, I will say go for dupes. Biscuit is used in literally every single type of content, be it raids or be it PvP. She's a safe pick always. When we talk about Drive Tower progression, however, it's gonna be Blank. Now let's move into the B3s, and as you can see, there's a difference between like B2s, B1s, <laughs> and then B3s for Tetra. There's only like four options, literally. So, sadly, uh, your best pick here are gonna be Alice, I don't like Alice, and North. Blank is better than North, I'm just saying, all right? I'm just saying. If you have to make a team for Drive Tower, I will go for Volume, I will go for Bunny Girls, and then it really depends what you want. Uh, Personally, I think that Alice and Sugar are going to be your, your safest picks. The problem with this is that you're running double shotgun or your two DPSs, which can be tricky. You could remove Sugar and put another B2 in there or another B1, depending what you're doing. But your core team for Tribe Tower is going to be this one 100%. Bunny Girls are still a safe pick. When it comes to the B3s themselves, a Julha. If you want to work on your Snow White compositions, you need to get her. One copy should be more than enough. If you don't care about the Snow White, you can ignore her. Sugar, outside of the Tribe Tower, will see zero usage, even on shotgun compositions, nor an amazing unit, get dupes, Alice, one of the best DPSs, even still to this day, focus on getting DPSs for her as well. So, all in all, this is a lot of units that you can go and focus on. It really depends on the state of your account and what you're looking for. If you're pre-160, it's better to focus on meta teams and units that will help you with Tribe Tower. If you're past 160, honestly, just focus on waifus, is my opinion, right? But I am a waifu collector, not a meta player, so it really depends on you. All that said, though, that Japanese is going to be it for this video. Do let me know what units or what team compositions you're using on, on Tribe Towers. All that said, though, that's going to be it for this one, bossos. I love you all. We're going to be live later. Come say hello, hang out a little bit on the stream. Playing solo leveling, Nika, most likely still have played as well. Thank you to my patrons for making this content possible. Good luck with your pool dinner rates, and see you in the next one. ベンチ万物を切るとはこういうことです。